Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. Yep, Akame with some nice combos. She's telling White Bear to get up. Oh yeah. And she's fast as shit. Oh, this is the one shot. He can't get what he needs to get done. The flip into the gunshots. Okay. Yo, they're having a close match, but Luffy is just able to get out of mo Okay, wait a minute. No, he doesn't. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, this nigga did hit him with the ultimate attack. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Ice, and we're back here with another Mugen tournament episode. Man, the tournament has been speeding along, but before we get too much into that, let me show you guys the bracket, man. We are here at the Dark Anime against One Piece. As y'all know, we're getting very, very close to getting towards the end, but that means we're gonna be starting to lose a bracket very soon with many different buffs and nerfs. Make sure to join the Discord if you guys want to see who's getting buffed, buffed, who's getting nerfed, and all that other feel me info. But before we get into that, man, make sure to go check out my second channel. Make sure to drop a sub. I've been dropping videos every single day on there, all types of new content irl content all that and y'all see man we dropping like a thousand views on mad in my videos man so hope you'll enjoy and let's get into the dark anime against one piece all right man this is bound to be a fucking kick-ass match man we got my boy nishio starting to match out against kaido man this is down to be crazy because the dark anime team is a very strong team man but one piece is a monster of a team as well man i'm excited to see what can happen here because both of these teams could definitely become you know put in some work here we know Nishio got a lot of buffs. He's a lot stronger than he used to be in many tournaments. You know, he's actually not just such a weak link on the last, you know, on the team anymore. But um, we got to see what he can do, man. He's healing up a little bit, getting his damage off Kaido, man. He's a goal. You know, the goals are definitely very good contenders. And y'all see some of these new characters are getting stronger and stronger, man. Y'all know Nishio wouldn't have been able to even touch Kaido back in the day, man. But feel me, we had to definitely make all these new characters, you know, get a lot of better people in this tournament and keep the, keep the level of competition very high. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's trying to get some good damage off. I'm not gonna lie, right now, uh, he's actually doing pretty well against Kaido. Okay. But at the end of the day, Kaido does have his dragon. If he does, you know, he has his little dragon hyper mode. Nishio absorbing help off him, kind of like how Muzan does in a very smart fashion. And never mind, he switches out now as Serpico. Right now, we're looking at the team of Kaido, Ace, and Whitebeard, which is definitely very, very tough of a little lineup. Um, okay. People saying One Piece definitely has a, a, like a chance for contention this tournament, and I definitely see that, man. They're definitely a very strong lineup, but so is the Dark Anime team. And may, I, honestly, I don't know who's gonna take this entire tournament, realistically, man, because it's just a whole bunch of just different, very, very strong contenders. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Damage. Yep. Oh my God. And Kaido's getting crushed. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was a super combo by the Dark Team. And the Dark Team is way stronger than I expected them to be, bro. They're definitely a top five team right now, just because of what they can do as a full entire squad. Okay. We got people like Serpico actually moving around with Ace a little bit, who's a very strong contender on a One Piece team. Even though kind of Ace has the advantage right now. You up them with a Fire Fist. Okay. Okay. Ace comboing up a little bit. Oh, yeah, Ace is completely taking over this match right now. I'm not gonna lie, Kaido didn't have the best start, but Ace definitely is making up for it right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Ace comboing into the Fire Pillars. Wait a minute. Oh, and the Fire Pillar saves Ace last second because if it didn't, he was definitely gonna get hit right there by, uh, by, uh, Nishio's ultimate attack. Oh, my God. And Ace is treating Nishio like a little-ass boy, bro. Definitely not no like once completely one sided. Oh wait, a comic comes out. Y'all know she does have one shots. She can you know if she gets all three markings on you, which can get very dangerous. Okay, so now it's just her, right? Oh wait, no, no. Um, Serpico's still alive. Oh, this is gonna do damage. Oh yeah, her plus a she's he's holding people still, and a comic goes for the one shots. I forgot about this. Okay, or die trying. Yep. Oh yeah, a comic putting in work. Oh, yeah, okay. Whitebeard with some combos as well. I forgot Whitebeard has full health. Can Akame take on him and Ace? Oh, as well as Serpico here to slow people down, obviously. That's the best thing about Serpico, man. He just stops people, and then Akame can just get the one-shots off when she, she's about to in a second. As you see, Whitebeard has three markings now, so her next ultimate attack is a one-shot. She lands it. Oh, they got Whitebeard in the corner. Never mind. Oh, okay, and she misses the one shot, making it so now, obviously, she has to land three markings once again, man. But she's uh, she's putting some hell on Whitebeard right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now the Whitebeard Kaido ultimate attack right there might be a little too much for her though. 
They're having a great ass match though. I'm definitely enjoying this matchup right now. But um One Piece is One Piece with their tag and with their assist right now are definitely starting to get the job done. Oh, I forgot Akame wasn't even mold that whole time. She was chilling. She was just chilling this whole time. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. Yup, Akame with some nice combos. She's telling White Bear to get up. Oh yeah. And she's fast as shit. Oh, this is the one shot. Ooh, nice. I'm not gonna lie, White Bear was already basically dead. But um, now it's just up to Ace. Can Ace beat Akame in a one-on-one? -on -one? And she, in her mode, though, she's definitely very stronger than she was, as well as she does have Serpent to slow Ace down. This is gonna be a good matchup. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh, Ace dodges it with his low gear. Okay. Oh yeah, this is good damage. Oh yeah, into the fire pillars. Oh yeah, her, yo, him and uh, Akami are going at it right now. I'm not gonna lie, Serpico had to take some good damage right there. Yo, Ace might solo this. Okay, I could dead ass see Ace solo in this. Yo, Conqueror, Saki, both of them? Oh no, Ace is on timing. It's a fire gun on both of them? Oh no, nah, Ace is locked in. Oh yeah, Ace is locked. Oh yeah, he's locked. Oh yeah, Ace is locked, y'all. Oh nah, this nigga Ace is different. I know he was, I know he was Roger's son, but he's that different. Oh, and Ace touches the match Dolo against an intense match with Akame. All right, all right. I'm not gonna lie, Akame is a dog. She really almost got that full thing done against Ace. And somebody of Ace's level is extremely strong. Realistically, I think she was definitely stronger than Ace in the one v one wise. She probably had that, but um. It was more of a jump than a ones, you know. He had a lot of people coming and helping out, um, which definitely helped out in that regard. Okay, and this is one thing. Ayato has to do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, damn, he pulled out. I was gonna say, he has to do a lot of damage before um, Crocodile goes into mode. What's wrong with these characters? There we go. All right, so they were tweaking out for a second. Okay, Guts transformed very early, I think. Did he transform? Okay, he didn't transform. I thought he did for a second. Okay. Guts locked in right now. Crocodile putting some work into it. What the fuck was that little explosion? Okay. They got they got this nigga Crocodile on the corner. Good place to have somebody like Crocodile. Crocodile trying to get out of the corner. Not getting, not letting, Guts not letting him out though. Oh, they got him in the corner. Team combo. Oh, wait, the Crocodile doing something too now. Oh, yeah, good damage by Crocodile. Crocodile is such a dangerous threat, man, in general, just because of the stuff he can do. Okay. Oh, and that was a counter, I guess, from Guts. Oh, okay. Yo, Crocodile's putting in work right now, but Guts is on him. Oh, Guts transforms. Okay, now he's in his Berserk armor state. I see Guts trying to counter. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's in the air. Okay. Okay, now it's Guts versus Luffy. Now it's Guts versus Luffy. Can Guts get the job done against Luffy? Okay. Guts getting some nice damage in. Guts wants to do something against Luffy. That's his goal right now. To do at least some type of damage to Luffy because, you know, his teammates need him. I'm not like Guts is big blocks. He's doing decent. He's not doing the best, but he's doing a look like obviously better than um a random person would do. Okay. Damn, and even in base, Luffy's faster than Guts and his Berserker armor. That just shows you that the leader of this One Piece team is something crazy. But here we go. Now he's gonna take on the leader of the the obviously a dark team, my boy Alucard. And Alucard summons his zombies. As y'all know, Alucard did receive some nerfs as well as some buffs for the people who don't know, man. Y'all cool have to join the Discord to see what he got. But um Okay. Oh, Alucard's locked in. Okay. 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 Okay, and he got the zombies coming out. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna get hard for Luffy. But Luffy, obviously, as I know, Luffy gets a lot stronger in his modes. So we gotta see Luffy pop something. The boy's not really popping shit. There we go. Okay. Okay, Luffy right now still has the advantage. Even with Alucard, that was like Alucard having multiple things helping him on the map. Luffy definitely has the advantage because Luffy has the hyper armor out of gear four. Not like gear four hyper armor is extremely strong. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, and Luffy's on Alucard's ass, bro. 
Okay. We go Karakuri with the assist to help out. Okay, we got Alec Park summoning some zombies. This might be able to get Luffy stuck, but this this my like year four is like literally the counter to that. Okay. Okay, get yeah, the bullets there, brother hitting a little bit. Oh my god, he can't get what he needs to get done. The flip into the gunshots, okay. Yo, they're having a close match, but Luffy is just able to get out of most of Alucard's stuns. And that just makes him the optimal opponent for this, bro. He can't, Luffy's taking no damage from multiple moves. Okay, now we get Alucard going into his mode here. Okay. But will it finish the job is the real question here. But I'm not gonna lie, Gear 5 isn't even here yet, so this could be very bad for the Dark Anime team. Alucard is locked in, I'm not gonna lie, he's on a level damn near almost the same as Luffy. But uh, as y'all see, he does have Life Drain now, because a lot of people were saying that he definitely needs Life Drain in this extremely strong mode. But um... Okay, oh this might be bad, this might be bad. Mm. Okay, Alucard with not too much health left, he definitely is gonna need help here soon enough. Oh, and Kanakar's dead. I'm seeing Kanakar's health. Kanakar is dead. Yo, Alucard and Luffy are having like the hardest fight ever right now. Okay. Alucard's almost dead. Luffy's almost dead. Ayato has a little bit of health. Is Guts alive? Oh, no. Luffy got health back. Oh, yeah. Luffy's locked. Luffy's locked. I'm not gonna lie. Luffy's locked. Can Gear 5 get rid of this, though? Damn, I'm not gonna lie. Alucard's going in the shadows and he's getting the job done. But Alucard falls there. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know if Gear 5 Luffy loses this fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he takes himself out of his own ultimate attack. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. No, he doesn't. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, this nigga did hit him with the ultimate attack. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that little shit. Yo, this nigga Luffy's putting on a Toon Force fanatic. Is this One Piece's tournament? Oh, this is bad. My God, Luffy's fucking shit up. I've been seeing all this One Piece shit on TikTok, man. With this new episode, man, this has to be a sign. Oh my God! And the Dark Enemy team was extremely strong to be pushing this niggas that far, but my God, he's a, it's a, it's, he's definitely a very bad matchup for um Alucard because Alucard beats a lot of people that Luffy can get with as well, but it's like. Luffy just has so much auto dodge in that gear four, man. Definitely might get nerfed a little bit, but not on some crazy shit. Cause Luffy definitely, you know, he's definitely a very strong character other than his auto dodge in gear four. Not auto dodge, but his uh his uh you know his hype armor and shit. Okay. Oh that's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. Okay. Hockey and all that. What's this? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's over. I think it's over. I don't know for sure though, but it's not looking good. Oh yeah, he's just lightning and the battle off. Yeah, Luffy ends it there. Oh my god, let's get to the next one. I'm not gonna lie, One Piece look like the Golden State Warriors right now, man. They're versus some extremely strong teams and just running through everything. As you know, that wasn't an easy ass win. I, Akame really almost had around one ace just locked in and carried. The second match, you know, Alucard carried heavy, but he didn't get enough done. Ayato just wasn't strong enough to support him. And uh, lastly, man, we got to see what happens now, but we got Maka going in off rip. Maka putting in a little bit of combos in. Brand new Maka, as y'all know, for the Dark Team. The Dark Team definitely strong. New people, obviously, a lot better team, but um, it just wasn't enough, it looks like. Alucard wasn't able to carry that squad. He definitely needs some help inside of that, like, you know, that lineup. Okay. Is this ultimate attack? I can't even see what's going on. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, and I'm not gonna lie, this little Marco going in the air shit, man. Marco might be gone soon, bro, because he just be going in the air and he be spamming his heels up, bro. I'm not gonna lie, for some reason, I think he has hype armor. Like, he just be getting out of combos pretty crazily sometimes. Oh my god, they're jumping, they're jumping right now. Okay. Okay, there we go. Kaneki locked in. And, and Griffith getting some good damage off. Okay, yeah, he definitely does have all the dodge. I'm not gonna lie, definitely, that's something that Marco does not need to be having. So he definitely will lose that. Because that's ridiculous. But, um, 
Him and Kaneki are having a good little match right now. Right now, he's definitely beating Kaneki, but Kaneki is definitely there as well. Even with the auto dodge that he's going against, it's definitely not easy for Marco. And y'all might even get a Kaneki edit from me, man, because I feel like that's somebody who could definitely be very, very tough on the dark team, you know, now that they're going in the loser bracket. Oh, my God. Yeah, Marco is locked in, bro. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we got the man himself, the strongest of this team. And not the strongest, the strongest of this, you know, second man team. He's not stronger than Alucard, but he is very, very up there. You know, he's a very strong contender. And, uh, yeah, he's sending Marco home. I'm about to say, you know, auto dodge and auto heal is like genuinely insane to me. You can't, you can't have both, gang. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh, okay. So Griffith summons some zombies. Okay, it looked like he called Zod to the stadium for a second to summon the zombies for him. Oh my God! And Griffith is running through Blackbeard. Even with Blackbeard being such like you know a very strong contender, and every single video he's been putting in mad work. You know, Griffith is a high level like monster of the team, man. Oh my god, Blackbeard's starting to show um, that he's that guy. Oh yeah, but the zombies, yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's not looking good for my boy Griffith right now. And Blackbeard has the ability to erase the zombies and stuff like that with his darkness. So it's like, the fact of, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bad matchup for Griffith. Blackbeard's just not fast enough. He's trying to attack, there we go. The fuck is going on? He's getting hit by the darkness. Yeah, Griffith got him in a fucking container right now. Yeah, Griffith's on him. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Blackbeard's gonna have to go away, bro. He definitely needs Zoro to take this one for him. Oh, he tried to get a little bit of charge off for a second. Oh, yeah. This is where it's just gonna get, it's just gonna get fun. Zoro versus Griffith. Griffith's already a little bit hurt, but Zoro's an extremely strong contender, the new strong, second strongest person on One Piece. Him and Ace are very, very close, but Zoro is just, you know, definitely stronger than Ace, though. Zoro was even getting with Luffy for a little bit. Oh my God. The, the, the Pirate King's right hand man, bro. Yeah, Zoro's locked in. Being burnt by the dream. Burnt by the dream. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, and Griffin's still getting fucking tossed like salad. There we go. Griffin and Zoro working out. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Griffith, he's just such a strong character. Him and Alucard and Akame, they carry, bro. They dead ass went insane, but they just need more. You know, they definitely need some other people to help on the side so they definitely can get more shit done. I definitely see Kaneki, somebody who could definitely be buffed for the loser bracket. And maybe Dark Anime could definitely do something crazy and make a comeback. But right now, Zoro's getting jumped by fucking Zod and Griffith. Oh my God. Okay, Zoro popping mode. Oh my God, he just cut this nigga Griffith up. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh! But that nigga Zod got Griffith's back, you already know. Oh, that was a tough move. Oh, yeah, this thing, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why Maka came out. She's getting cut down. She's getting pieced. <laughs> Get on the fucking ground, Zoro. Zoro, I'm not gonna lie, Zoro's tweaking. Zoro's locked in. Straight, straight combo, straight slashes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Zod, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Zod's mad as shit that Griffin's not around, bro. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. He's getting combos in. And there goes Zod, man. Now it's just Zoro having a death match against Maka. Oh my god. Yo, this Zoro's tough. Send Maka to the demon realm. Alright, Zoro. We respect it. Okay, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. Griffith is very strong, but I don't see him beating Zoro here. Not with this much health. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, they're trying to get at it right now, but there we go. Zoro sends my boy Griffith home. With, I'm not like Griffith went crazy, but he could not carry them to the stop the 3-0.